just too exhausted. So yesterday evening, me and Barrett went out to the garden and we gave my onions a haircut and we got all kinds of onion tops. So I stayed up late until probably 1.30, 2 o'clock cutting up onion tops. So I've got this left in the bowl. I already dehydrated four trays and this is what that looks like. And then I have four more trays here that are going. So I'll get this other um, onion tops dehydrated throughout the day. But I wanted to share with you, I went and harvested my kale this morning. It's six o'clock in the morning right now. Well, six out of five in the morning right now. And um, I harvest my kale. This is the first harvest of the year. But I wanted to show you a way simpler, easier way to wash this and get this ready to process. So let's get out of this kitchen and I'll show you what I do. Okay, you might think this is weird, but let me tell you, um, I've been harvesting leafy greens kale for a long time and I've found this is the easiest, most effective way for somebody <laughs> who has back problems standing at the sink for a long time anybody that knows it takes a lot out of you and it really does hurt your back so what I do is I make sure that I wipe out my washer I know this is really dark and I'm sorry but I will wash wipe out my washer make sure there's no lint or fuzz or anything crazy in there run it on a rinse cycle get it all nice and clean and then what I do is throw whatever whatever leafy green I am working with here in my washer we'll get it all in here and I'll put a tablespoon of salt in here and then we'll put this on a quick cycle rent or a quick cycle wash there's no soap or anything added to this, just salt and water. So let me get this started and I will bring you back as soon as it is finished. My kale is finished, so I'm gonna start pulling this out of the washer. Looks good and clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and start bagging this up. What I do is just start cutting up the kale into smaller manageable pieces. And then I have a bag from Aldi's. It's one of their shopping bags that you can purchase. And it has a Mylar um, lining inside. So it does really well when I freeze it. And this is the best way I have found to do green so far. You can do this with spinach or any other green that you want. I wouldn't suggest doing it with lettuce because the washer does, um, unless you have like a gentle cycle, I don't have a gentle cycle on my washer, um, but it will eh, tear it up a bit, so I wouldn't suggest doing lettuce in there. And I personally don't blanch this because I use this for my morning smoothies or my evening smoothies. So just washing it and cutting it up and freezing it works really well for me. So so this is how I process my kale here at Keto Homestead with Jess. I hope this helps you out. I hope it makes your work a little lighter. And until next time, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe. And I'll see you later.